masked up everything inside except that cage. I'm about to spray the special coating on the cage except the logo has been rubbed so that'll just have the coating on it that we're about to lay down. So watch this space. Okay, the colour is done. I'm not going to get close and show you because I'm going to wait until the clear is on, the final clear. And then... And then once some body panels are on it, then we might show you. Really? Yeah. Ah, but. okay. We've got to get it in the sun too before we show you. That'll give you a hint. Ah, oh, it's just grey, is it? Looks Psych! Here she is. Wheels back on and rolled out of the paint booth. Still just looks grey, right? But in the sunshine, you can see there is a holographic glitter through the clear coat. I'm hoping the camera picks it up. I don't think it is showing it half as awesome as it looks in real life. Trust me, it's cool. Keg's already got the fuel cell going in the rear and the steering column going in the front. It's reassembled time. So as part of our reassemble, Keg is going around and replacing these rib nuts that we attach the wide body panels with on all the drift cars that we build. He's pulling them out, he's already done this side, and replacing them with flush mounting nuts. So they're going to sit tight down into the body panel and when the wide body goes on, it won't leave a gap. It'll be flush. Just because we're going a little bit overboard than we thought we were originally, this car. Do you want to test fit it? Going a little bit perfect just for me because I'm a little bit like that. <laughs> So once we've got all the screws on, it'll sit flush as. Pretty. Right, get on with the reassemble. Guys, look. I've just come back from lunch, all the way inside. Keek has put my dashboard in, my steering column, a steering wheel, he set it up a setting position, and he's got it perfect, and it looks so good. <sighs> I should have been sitting it. Sitting in it pretending it was driving, making brum brum noises like a child. Not even sorry. It is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, it's been another super productive day here at DKM. We'll go over the AE in a minute, but I just wanted to touch on Kyle's FC. 
Um, a few people have been commenting they want to know a bit more about it. Um, but we'll get Kyle to do a little video on that when he's back next week um, when we're down to level three. Um, our cars are actually quite similar in that they're both obviously hard to get aftermarket parts for. So we've both gone from the sand subframes. We had some kicking around that he's thrown in his car. Um, so that's obviously what we did with mine. Um, just come through and we'll show you that. Because yeah, some people will be wanting to see underneath it as well. Um, in the front here, uh, we've just put the adjustable arms in here. Um, the front subframe pretty much bolted in. We just had to um, mess around with some of these mounts up here, but these bolts pretty much lined up. So it was pretty easy conversion to do. And now we've got the extra adjustability at the front. Um, we just had it up on the hoist doing some seam sealer and uh, a bit of paint. Just the final put together. Um, in the back here, keg pretty much cut out from the passenger foot, passenger seats back uh, and had to remake a new floor to mount in the subframes um, here and here. And yeah, now we've got the benefit of having adjustable caster toe and camber arms and the coilovers. So everything's pretty much from the Sylvia now sitting here in the back of the AE, which gives us um, much better sourceability of parts um, adjustability. All right, so the next step is to put the engine gearbox in. We are going to have to get a custom drive shaft made, so we are going to have to wait a little while before we can actually get it running. Um, in terms of the gearbox, because my engine's out of a spec R S15, it came with a six speed, um, which initially sounded cool, and then we've realized that they run a dual mass flywheel setup, and that's not ideal for drifting. So we thought we were going to have to pull it out and run the five speed, but pulling the gearbox apart, we've actually found that it's got an aftermarket flywheel, which takes away the dual mass setup. So we are gonna be able to run the six speed. So both Keg and I are gonna have six speeds in our little SR powered drift cars, which is pretty rad. So yeah, next step tomorrow is pulling the engine out of the S14 out there. Uh, it kinda sucks to pull the engine out of something that's currently running that we can go straight out and play with, but um, it's worth it to get it back in this and get my car a little bit closer to being running. Alright, now that we've got the seats in and uh, I've lined the steering column up, we've got it in a good spot. Joe's pretty comfortable in there. I've uh, got her wheel wood pedal box, it's a swing mount, so we're going to mount that up and under the dash. So we'll, we'll get her in there. We'll probably do this after we've got the motor and the gearbox in, but we'll get her in there and set this up. Um, then we can start making some brake lines, clutch line, etc. Yeah, so it's coming together. There's lots of little goodies going on. So. And we keep finding little boxes that we keep forgetting about. And Joe gets excited about it. So. Like you can see the amount of dust on this from this sitting around. And it's been in a box too. So yeah, never ending. All the goodies. <laughs> so many goodies. I've got my dry cell battery in the back there. I've got uh, a Pixie hand controller for my Power FC. All these old cute little gauges yeah <laughs> a lot of the stuff's actually from japan and we've got origin, origin boot wing roof wing as well roof wing. <laughs> um, i've actually got two boots so i've got the origin little baby wing to run or i've got uh old drag style wing. yeah drag style wing options girls gotta have options yeah, yeah. So but i'm Sales in, it's mounted. I've opened up this, but this is usually where the filler would go, and I'll put it in tank fuel pump, a wool row one. Move the filler to the back, just keeping it nice and simple in here for Joe. Just be a couple of fuel lines, no surge tank. But yeah, if you guys, we're still chasing a rear bumper and some skirts, so if you guys know where any fiberglass bumpers and skirts are, let us know. Comment, comment below. Um, it'd just be cool to get onto that so we can get it painted soon. But yeah, that's about it for today, so see you tomorrow and start putting the motor in it. <laughs>